If we stay on our course, we could look at a worldwide catastrophe. Industrial agriculture is first and foremost a war against the earth because it is a war against all species since you're bringing war chemicals into food production and all they're doing is killing. We cannot fight nature. You cannot poison things to the extent that where you, quote, win. It's a challenge to live in a world where our government cannot be counted on to defend us from an industrial food system that's actually making us sick. Hopefully soon the planet will change. People should really learn about how to help your community and help yourself in life. You can grow 100% organic, nutrient-dense food at warp speed, basically. This stuff will grow anything. There is a secret here that we've got to unlock. What we've tried to do here is accelerate the regeneration of soil. Well, I've done some testing behind your back. Okay, so you're doing in four to five days what nature would take in about 400 years. 400 years. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Disrupting food, fuel, and fertilizer all in one little powerhouse. You're going to have a lot of pushback. I worry about it getting squashed before it gets out. Yeah. You don't get points for doing the right thing, and that's the right thing. You just have to do it. We're trying to change Girl Scout cookies so they're healthier. Right now, we have at least 45,000 signatures. Last minute, they decided that the representative was going to be in a meeting. They hung up on me. You never know what could be happening there. They're just called free share. They're just not listening. We just heard a rumor that, that we might lose our farm. 4.30 a.m., telephone rings. I knew it could not be good news. Looking at the amount of heat that needed to be generated, I'm, I'm a little suspicious. To say that we care about the future of this planet, to say that we care about the survival of our species and to not take action is simply no longer an option. Hopefully, we'll recover from this.